Thanks to Tor Books for sponsoring this episode of Nerdist News. Now we've got the six best things in the new Thor Ragnarok trailer. Comic-Con 2017 may be winding down, but that doesn't mean things in San Diego are getting any less awesome. In fact, Marvel decided to save one of the con's best moments for last when they unveiled a brand new trailer for Thor Ragnarok at their Saturday Night Hall H panel. Now, this new spot brings the thunder and the lightning and has fans all across the convention floor declaring the MCU the official winner of the weekend. So with that, we are counting down the six best moments from the new Ragnarok trailer, starting with the big green gamma guy himself. Look at that sick fade! Ooh, is it weird that I find him handsome? All right, so it doesn't matter if he's in Hulk form or human form, Dr. Bruce Banner absolutely owns this trailer, whether he's piloting a ship, stomping into the Scar Battle Arena, or rocking some sweet 80s fashion. Check out the album art for Duran Duran's Rio underneath that rad suit jacket. I wonder if he got it on loan from Star-Lord's t-shirt collection. Also, I would completely own that for my own wardrobe. But of course, the biggest deal is that our bouncing baby Hulk has learned his first words. According to the folks at Marvel, he's been in monster form for the last two years, basically since the end of Age of Ultron, and staying like that for a prolonged time has really improved his speech. But who would have guessed that speech could be so sassy? The Hulk like raging fire, so I like smoldering fire. <laughs> Hulk ain't just throwing shade at Thor, he's hurling it, which brings us to the next thing we love about the trailer, the jokes. Now the first Thor was played a lot like a fish out of water comedy with the god of thunder learning to walk amongst the mortals without smashing too many coffee mugs along the way. Just drink, I like it. I know, that's great, right? Another! <laughs> But the sequel, Thor The Dark World, was a lot more dour to the disappointment of many fans. So we're happy to see the series has seemed to get its sense of humor back. This will be such fun. Now you've got the exasperated Thor at the beginning complaining about his lost hammer, you've got his bro -y banner fist bump, and you've got Jeff Goldblum doing full Jeff Goldblum. He's a fighter. It looks like James Gunn isn't the only Marvel director who can make us laugh, but since we know from the Infinity War footage showcased at D23, Thor eventually ends up floating unconscious through space, and we're wondering if this more jovial tone is actually masking a downer of an ending. You have no idea. Next up, we got this big bad wolf, but it ain't just any big bad wolf, it's Fenris, a wolf from Norse mythology who is destined to kill Odin and is supposedly the offspring of Loki. Oh no, is this why Swiddles is no more? Did Tom Hiddleston have to film some love scenes that Taylor Swift just couldn't shake off? He likes that fur! And I think that that's fine. Well, let's just forget about it and skip to some stones. Stones of the infinity flavor. Now, we've covered how the Space Stone and the Soul Stone will be used in Ragnarok, but we gotta say, until now, we've only seen Thor channel the power of the Tesseract in Lego form. Seeing it for real is way more epic. The final throwdown between him and Hela may be one of the best yet from the MCU. Who needs a whole airfield full of heroes when all you really need is a few infinity stones for a truly memorable battle? But that's not to say Thor won't have some help, because we're still Stoked to see that Ragnarok is going from what we thought was a Thor Hulk buddy flick to a full on Asgardians of the Galaxy team up. Alongside the aforementioned heroes, you've also got Loki and Valkyrie standing with them, defending the Bifrost Bridge. Let's just hope Hulk doesn't bring up any bad blood by calling Loki a puny god again. Get it? Bad blood. Get it? Get it? Do you get it? Of course, something has to go south eventually with the team, because we do know that Loki is back on Earth stirring up shit by the time Infinity War rolls around, so I guess all great Loki Thor teams must eventually come to a traitorous backstabby end. And finally, you've got Hulk jumping into the maw of the giant flaming head of the Balrog. Sorry, Surtur. Surtur is a giant fire demon who is destined to play a big role in the destruction of Asgard, and it was just announced that Clancy Brown is lending his dulcet tones to the role. But the fact that this is the first we're seeing of him makes us wonder what his role in the final film will be. Is he just an oversized minion of Hela, or is he the big bad pulling all the strings? Either way, we're excited because his presence could also mean the arrival of another beloved fan favorite, Beta Ray Bill. Now, for those of you not on the Beta Ray Bill hype train, Bill is a horse-headed alien whose homeworld was destroyed by Surtur and eventually made his way to Asgard via his super cool ship, Scuttlebutt. Now, he's actually one of the few other Marvel characters to wield Thor's hammer, and naturally, he's someone fans have been dying to see pop up in the MCU for a long time. I mean, a horse-headed dude with Thor's hammer? Who wouldn't want to see that? I need a horse. But what else do you guys want to see in Thor Ragnarok? Are you angry Marvel didn't release the D23 Avengers footage? And who do you think won Comic-Con, Marvel, or DC? Neither. I did. Check out this voice. Let's discuss. <laughs> I won it! <laughs>
Thank you to Tor Books for sponsoring today's Nerdist News. Tor Books is a treasure trove for the sci-fi fantasy reader and the home of some incredible sci-fi and fantasy authors like Annalie Newitz and Charlie Jane Anders. Kyle Hill got an amazing interview with the two of them where he chats with Charlie about her new book, All Birds in the Sky, and Annalie tells us about her novel, Autonomous, which tackles robot rights. You can check it out over on Nerdist.com.